Gone are the days when dolls were innocent playthings. We've seen possessed dolls before, Chucky, Annabelle, but that child's play compared to the true terror that's been hiding in plain sight. When you thought the exorcist had you shaking in your boots or the ring had you fearing your own TV, you were blissfully unaware. But now, the truth is unveiled. For deep within the pink glittering corridors of every toy store, there's a story so chilling, so dark, it makes the most harrowing of horror tales pale in comparison. And that story, dear viewers, belongs to none other than... Barbie. Now, every horror aficionado knows that setting is everything. Forget the decrepit asylums, the fog-filled cemeteries or the cabins in the woods. Our tale begins in the place so dazzling, so colorful, it might just put the Overlook Hotel to shame. Enter Barbie Land. On the surface, Barbland is the quintessential dream world, all sparkling eyes, gleaming convertibles and impeccable hairstyles. But remember, in the world of horror, appearances can be deceiving. Just like the veneer perfection in the Stepford Wives, Barbieland's shimmering facade hides a much more malevolent core. I mean, what could possibly go wrong in a world where everyone looks the same, acts the same and thinks the same? It's almost like the creepy town from the Stepford Wives, where beneath the perfection lies a dark secret. But what could that secret be? It's no Leatherface chasing with your chainsaw, but there's something deeply disturbing lurking beneath the pastel surface and the unblinking smiles. When normal is dictated by a single mold, any deviation becomes the enemy. And in Barbie Land, conformity isn't just desired, it's enforced. Now we've had our fair share of iconic villains, Norman Bates, Jason Voorhees and even dear old Pennywise. But in Barbie Land, our antagonist doesn't come wielding a knife or wearing a creepy clown costume. Oh no, it's much more unsuspecting than that. Enter the Ken dolls. These poor souls trapped in plastic of perfection always smiling but never truly seen. In the muted pastel corridors of Barbie Land, their silence screams louder than any jump scare. Their presence is always felt yet their voices is never heard. I mean who needs spirits lurking in the mirrors or monsters under the bed when you have Ken living this waking nightmare every day. Oh, how truly terrifying, the sheer audacity of Ken trying to have a personality. Forget being chased in the woods by Leatherface, being Ken in Barbie Land is where the real horror is. Move over Freddy Krueger, who needs dream realms when you're trapped in this pastel purgatory. A world where Ken's only purpose is to applaud Barbie's choices. It's a nightmare on Barbie Street. Honestly, every time Ken appears on the screen, I half expect the Jaws theme to play. Because in the twisted world of Barbie, his silent suffering is the real impending doom. Ah, the real world. We've escaped from the pink prison of Barbie Land, expecting refuge, maybe even sanity. But surprise, surprise, Barbie's real world is nothing short of a nightmarish reality that would make even George Orwell shudder. You might wonder, where is the foggy graveyard, the desolate mansion? But no, in this chilling saga, our haunted realm isn't some far-off spectral place. It's our very own world where the shadows aren't of ghosts but of a dystopian society. Nothing says horror quite like a boardwalk, right? But this isn't any boardwalk. This is the epicenter of an oppressive patriarchal hellscape. It's like Mad Max Fury Road, but replaced the desert with sandcastles and the war rigs with ice cream carts. We've seen many a haunted landscapes in horror, fog-covered moors, desolate asylums, haunted forests, but none come close to this. A world where every corner hides not a ghost but a smirk, where every step is a tightrope walk over social expectations. Barbie's real world, it seems, is the scariest of all. A place where freedom is a myth, where voices are silenced, and where even the bright sun can chase away the looming darkness. Ah, who doesn't love a good twist? Just when you thought Bruce Willis had the market cornered over shocking revelations, Barbie swings in with a plot curve that'll make you drop your popcorn. So you think Ken, after being relegated to the silence in the real world, would come back to Barbie Land and all humbled, right? Wrong. Like every antagonist with a vendetta, Ken's got plans. Big plans. Because you can't beat the patriarchy, why not import it wholesale? And what better way to establish dominance than turning an idyllic Barbie utopia into, wait for it, a frat house. The speed of this transformation is nothing sort of a cinematic horror. It's like watching 28 Days Later. But instead of zombies taking over London, we have Ken dolls overrunning Barbie Land at a horrifying pace. In classic horror fashion, our protagonist Barbie and her gang are left to grapple with this nightmarish twist. They now face the dual horrors of the dystopian real world and the Barbie Land that's gone rogue. Who knew? The greatest horror plot twist of our time and it comes packed in a pink box. Hats off to you, Barbie. You've truly outdone yourself. Prepare yourselves, dear viewers. Just as the climactic battles in our beloved horrors like Nightmare on Elm Street and The Conjuring had us on the edge of our seats, Barbie's showdown promises a spectacle like no other. And her weapon of choice, not machetes nor haunted artifacts, but a weapon more formidable, the unyielding force of feminism. 
who needs ancient spells possess dawns or chainsaws when you've got girl power on your side? It's a battle of wills, ideals, and let's be real, sheer campiness. It's like watching Army of Darkness but with a sprinkle of glitter and far more sequence. The stake, the very soul of Barbie Land, a world where everyone, irrespective of gender, can live freely and fabulously, can Barbie and her squad restore the balance and reclaim their pink paradise. Ah, the age-old tale of good versus, uh, well, plastic evil. Our dear Barbie's movie teaches us that sometimes the real monsters aren't lurking in the shadows, but right in our toy aisle, packed with a smile. So the next time you're looking for a thrill, forget those run-of-the-mill slashers and ghost stories. Just pop in this Barbie horror and you're in for a terrifyingly good time. Now, traditionally, the climax of a horror story provides closure, maybe even a ray of sunshine after the darkness. A hero emerges, evil is vanquished and the world resets to normal. But in the chilling saga of Barbie, don't hold your breath. The idyllic Barbie land remains forever changed, and our dear Ken dolls, they return to their mundane, depressing lives without so much as a chance for redemption or reconciliation. It's a bleak ending, colder than the conclusion of Hereditary. Most horror gives us survivors, victors, or at least some semblance of hope. But here... Just the haunting vision of Ken's eternal sadness. So if you ever wonder where the most haunting, soap-clashing locale in horror cinema was, surprise! Forget about the haunted woods, the cursed villages, or the ghostly mansions. Turns out the real cabin in the wood was Barbie's dream house, nested safely in your childhood bedroom. Well, there you have it. A horror tale wrapped in pink and sealed with a plastic kiss. The next time you're itching for a spine-tingling experience, forget Song of the Ring. Dive into the neon-lit world of Barbie. Who knows, maybe it'll leave you with more than just nightmares, but with, let's say, existential dread. And remember, darkness isn't always where you expect it. Sometimes it's hidden beneath layers of glitter and gloss. Until next time, stay sinister.